What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. Welcome back here to a set of Corsa on the PC. So, if you don't know this car, then, well, you probably don't follow Taylor Ray. This is Taylor Ray's Mazda Miata created here on a set of Corsa. So, it was not created by me, so I can't take credit for that at all. It was actually created by somebody that I know on Instagram and somebody that I talk to on occasions about modding and stuff like that jtsdg i will leave his instagram link in the description box below as well as a link to the car if you guys want to try it out yourself so we're going to be ripping this car here for today getting my impressions of it and uh well have a little fun with this because this is the car a lot of people have been wanting i was going to make it but somebody beat me to the punch so let's go and have a little fun uh, okay, okay, break the internet. Mention me and tell it freeze. I'm coming back, so be or be pretending like I never leave. I gotta eat, that's what they mean by check the feed. Like the gram, tell a friend to tell a friend to check for me. That's the tweet, block it out. Going live is like a gene. You know they say you made it big if your face is on a meme. Oh. Alright, so we're going to drive it basically how it is set. And uh, let's see what we got. We are at Clutch Kickers. Throw it in. Why is it so grippy? I think it just gripped up. Does it have trash control? Oh, uh, I think it has trash control. Oh, it does! It has trash control. Rip. That's got to come off this car. Alright, that's much better. Okay, minus the trash control issue. So far, the car is pretty fun. It's very, very soft. Got a lot of wheel feel, definitely does. And you can see the oscillation in the front. It's almost three wheeling when I do that. Got a lot of suspension travel in this car. Oh. But it definitely, it definitely rips. So we're going to switch up views here. Because everybody, oh, do you like the dash though? The Holly, the Holly dash. For all you haters of third person, this is for you. Why do I not have my neck function going? Interesting. I wonder if the car doesn't have any neck function going on. That would be quite interesting if it didn't. Yep, no, it doesn't look like it has any neck function. Well, that's okay. Car definitely rips, though. I like the way it looks. I like the paint. I like some of the styling and the authenticity of the parts on the car. So I think we should take this to a more aggressive track. See if we can maybe handle uh, OSW. Let's go see if this car can handle OSW. All right, so we got trash control turned off, off the rip. And we're going to take this car out and see what it's got. See if we can handle the banks of OSW. The wheel is so aggressive. I don't think I've adjusted anything. No, I haven't. But the wheel is super aggressive. So let's see. Fourth gear. Oh my. 
That has so much body roll, so much movement. I kind of can handle it though. So for my first impressions on this car, it's definitely a fun car to drive. I love the styling. The physics are very good. Um, the wheel feels really aggressive in my hands and you know, it could just be because of the way the car is and how much grip level it has and things of that nature. Um, the trash control is definitely got to go bye bye, but otherwise it is a very fun car to drive. Press one more time. Initiate in. Oh man, almost three wheeling it. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Taylor. Kind of just ripped your car into the wall. So the car is definitely a fun car to drive. I uh, would highly recommend giving it a try yourself because it is a pretty fun car off the rip. I know this is, I believe, his first version of it. It's not a final version. So let's take a look at this car on the bank and how much movement this suspension actually has. <sighs> so much suspension. Oh my. Not sure if Taylor's car has that much suspension. I can't remember, but that has so much suspension play. That's why the car is so unpredictable because it has so much suspension play and so much movement that it's just it's just lifting the front end of the car up. That is definitely insane to see. Yep, three wheel on entry. Oh my, that car just bounces. Coming off the bank, just hop in front wheels. So definitely a fun car to drive. Make sure you guys try it out. I'll leave the link in the description box below. That car is just picking up the front wheels, which is crazy to me to see that. I've seen that in some of the like the RTR cars in the game, but I haven't seen it in any other cars, so it's definitely very crazy. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which you found in the description box below. So now, let's try one more car. So if this car looks familiar to you, you guys know I've had this M235 comp, basically comp car that I've converted into a drift car. And with some physics modifications and stuff, I have able was able to remove the twitchiness out of the car. So, with that being said, I feel like I'm able to get all the 800 some horsepower comp cars that I had teased you guys with actually out to you guys where I'm comfortable with how they drive. So we're gonna take this M235 for a rip and uh, have a little fun. Oh, <clears throat> hope you saw that. So like I said, nobody uh, nobody saw that little bit of a uh, spoofness, right? Big blast of fire. Oh, airing it in OSW. So like I said, I have finally gotten the cars to somewhat drive how I want them to. I've been able to eliminate the twitchiness. Wall tapping, destroying the back bumper of the M235. But get in the crease. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of Corsa. And as always, I think you guys come back and watch it. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. I tried a 360, but I failed. Uh, okay, okay, break the internet. Mention me and tell it freeze. I'm coming back, so be or be pretending like I never leave. I gotta eat, that's what they mean by check the feed. Like the gram, tell a friend to tell a friend to check for me. Check the tweet, block it out. Going live is like a junior notice. Say you made it big if your face is on a meme.